This next story is about a remarkable treatment for leukemia that has astounded a family in Philadelphia. Seven-year-old Emily Whitehead endured the disease for two years. She'd exhausted every conventional treatment. Her parents were told she was close to death. But there was one last hope, an experimental treatment that amazed everyone when it worked. Eric Sorensen reports. Her mom first noticed it, Emily's bruising, then bleeding. She looked up the symptoms. Bruising, uh, gum bleeding, nosebleeds, and the first thing that pops up is leukemia. Leukemia, and for Emily, it was worse than that. Chemotherapy that helps most kids didn't work on her leukemia. She thinks her dog sensed the cancer was back. She wouldn't like play with me or anything. She would just sit. Emily was dying. We knew it wasn't kind of the standard garden variety leukemia. Desperate, Emily's parents rolled the dice on a new therapy to genetically modify her own immune cells. You're going to get your T cells? What are they going to take away? Cancer. Cancer, that's right. T cells fight infection. Doctors removed Emily's T cells and re engineered them using HIV, with the disease causing part removed and re injected them to attack the leukemia. They took us out in the hall and said, there is no room to get sicker. She is as sick as you can get. You know, they said, you, you should call your family in. Um, there's a pretty good chance she won't be here in the morning. At first, Emily got sicker, but then began to get better. You can see the T cells at work, the smaller cell attacking the bigger cancer cells. This is a whole new way of treating cancer. And the idea is that we're redirecting the cells of the immune system against the cancer. Eight months later, Emily is like her old self. I thought we were witnessing a miracle. Doctors seem just as amazed. We can't find any leukemia in her body using the most sensitive tests that we have. When he told us that news, I looked at Carrie and I said, she's going to get better. <laughs> for now, Emily is cancer free. If she can stay that way for another 16 months, she'll be considered cured. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Washington.